All right, so recently there was a question about my rebreather and I wanted to make a really quick video just to show what it is and how it works. So as you can see, this is half of a standard uh, KISS Sidewinder. You've got the main can here coming up to a standard front with the sensors in it, line coming out to your shear water. Got a loop coming out, goes to a bit of an extension, comes back here to the end, which is the one really custom block. This Delrin block has two ports coming out of it. One comes down here into the can, and so it is a full loop, it's not a pendulum. The other port comes down here into a four liter MSR dromedary bag, which is the counter lung. Now feeding into it, you've got one line coming in, and that's fed from the MAV block, which you have O2 coming from, and then also DIL. Now, Mike has something that's very similar, except that he runs his counter lung across his waist. I do mine a little differently, and I've got it uh, positioned along the can uh, for three reasons. Uh, the first is that with along the can, that's one less thing that I have to clip. It's nice and out of the way. Number two, it rides in between the can and my body, so it's nice and protected from the cave. And then number three, it's a little closer to my lungs. I don't know if this makes a difference or not. Now, I refer to this as my thermos rebreather because recently there was a new diver who came into our uh, the dive shop that I help out at, and he asked the manager, John, well, John, we, we dive from scuba tanks, right? And John said, well, yes. And the new diver said, well, I, the lake this weekend, I saw someone diving and he was breathing out of a thermos. So it's, well, it's my thermos rebreather. Okay, for attaching the rebreather, I have the O2 bottle on my butt, pretty standard. Line comes up my side, MAV gets nice and tucked under the inflator hose. Uh, on the rebreather, a uh, loop goes up over my head. Now, on the rebreather, I have four pounds of weight, uh, just two two-pound ankle weights. Uh, if I was able to have uh, the two hoses coming out the front, a bit like Mike has it, I could probably, you know, obviously, uh, get rid of a pound of weight, uh, which would be really nice. On the rebreather, I have two carabiners. Um, I have carabiners instead of bolt snaps because we have so much sand in the cave that bolt snaps just seize up. The bottom, bolts, uh, bottom carabiner hooks up to the waist D-ring. The top carabiner hooks into the bungee that would normally go around your left tank. Sits nicely, and there you go. I did want to show one problem I had this weekend. While I was in the overhead, I had a free flow with my bailout regulator. It was shooting air into my loop. So I pulled off the deal hose and shut down the cylinder. The problem was that when I went to uh, add O2 to get my PO2 back up, most of the oxygen was shooting out of the connector. So I had to reconnect uh, the dill to stop the gas from uh, escaping, then I was able to get my oxygen properly into the loop. 